Hi everyone, That Cat Mommy here, and today we're going to be talking about wine for your cat. Now, before you get like a little like, oh, taken aback, it's not real wine. There's no alcohol in it. No kitties are getting drunk. And I don't think that you should probably drink it either because it doesn't contain any alcohol. So no fears there off the bat. But for the past few years, I have been seeing on Instagram and different cat stores I go to all over everywhere, wine for your cats. And I was thinking like, what is this about? And like, how does it work and what's in it? So I decided to get some, let my boys try it and report my results to you guys. So you can know whether it's worth spending your money on because I know as cat parents and you know as cat parents that we spend our money on a lot of things that just don't work out for us. <laughs> and our kitties don't like it and it ends up getting donated or it ends up in the trash. So I wanna help you save money and actually pick products that your cats are going to like. Now, while I realize every cat is different, I can only speak from my experience, but based on the information that I provide you, I hope you will be able to better gauge whether this product might be a good fit for you. So first, let's talk about what is actually in the cat, cat wine. Well, it's a combination of a lot of different things. Um, obviously catnip, distilled water, sometimes they put salmon oil in it, um, or different kinds of like fish oils in it to attract cats to it. And it just comes in these cute little mini bottles, they look like airplane bottles that we would buy our alcohol in. And you just pour it in a glass or in a cup or in a bowl and your kitty licks it up, okay, which on one hand is really good because it I think it basically contains more water than anything. Um, so they are getting hydration from it, but there is some controversy surrounding cat wine and if it is actually okay for your cats to, um, to take part in. For me, when I was reading about it, uh, some of the big things are colorant, um, some of the preservatives that they put in it. I don't know that they can really say, based on what I've read, that it is harmful, um, but I don't think it's something that you should give your cat all the time um, if you decide to, to try the cat wine. Uh, I do know that it's not regulated. That was a big thing for a lot of veterinarians that it's not regulated, but there's a lot of stuff on the cat market that is not regulated for your pets. So just because you see it for sale doesn't mean that it's been through proper testing. But based on what I read, I was okay with giving it a try. Um, I wasn't super apprehensive about it. So the first thing that I did was I poured it into a plate because a lot of animals don't, uh, especially cats, they don't like to get their whiskers to touch things. So I knew my cats have never showed interest in drinking out of a glass. Uh, we've had glasses sitting around. They've never stuck their paw in it. They've never done anything like that um, with us. I know there's some cats that'll stick their paws and their humans waters and drink out of their water glasses and drink from, you know, champagne glasses that have water in them and all these different things. They drink water out of different things. Our cats are not like that. Their whiskers are very sensitive. Um, we've never seen them. They don't really like to have their whiskers pushed up against something specifically boots, which is the gray kitty. Um, he does not like his whiskers to touch anything. So we feed them out of a raised elevated bigger wider bowl that's what they eat their food from they drink from a water fountain and so the first thing I did was put it in this bowl to see if they would lick it out of that um, I tried it with the tabby I will say the tabby his name is feet he is not big on catnip period like he likes it and he'll play with it for like two to three minutes, he seems a little interested in it. Basically, he doesn't really eat it that much. He might like a little nibble, um, but he just kind of rubs his face in it. And then he likes to lay on it. Like he's like claiming territory over it, um, which this was a liquid. So he was definitely not wanting to do that. So, the, so I put it in a plate and I just poured a little bit in there to see what he would think about it. And he kind of sniffed it, kind of acted like he did not drink it. I could not get him to drink it for anything but he was interested in sniffing it. So that was the tabby. Now the gray cat, I had him try it. Now he loves catnip. He likes to eat it. He likes to roll around in it. He likes fresh catnip. He loves catnip. And he did the exact same thing. He smelt it. 
he really didn't want anything to do with it as far as consuming it. So for my cats, it was a bust. It was a no-go with the cat wine. Um, now I will say, I've seen it priced online from like anywhere from eight to twelve dollars. I honestly, I bought mine at a cat cafe in their store, and I don't remember exactly how much it was, but I'm pretty sure it was under like fifteen bucks. And again, it's like a mini bottle sized thing. Um, and for me, that wasn't a ton of money. Um, I could. If it didn't work out, I thought the bottles were cute and I was like, we can use them in an Instagram photo shoot or I can make my own catnip wine because we grow fresh catnip. Some of you guys have seen that video where we grew fresh catnip and basically all you would have to do once you had the bottle is take the catnip, put hot water in it, let it sit until it cooled down, strain out the catnip and you've got cat wine. Now, obviously you could also do some DIY stuff at home. Like, um, if I was going to make it, I would probably put a little tuna juice in it because my boys love tuna juice. And I think that would make it, um, more fun for them. And it's really kind of, for me, cats do need to be hydrated. It's one of the things that they need. We have an issue with that. And a lot of cat parents have an issue with their cats getting enough water. Um, just they're very finicky, they're very picky. They don't necessarily like to hydrate. So we were really shocked when we found a fountain that they would actually drink out of, a water fountain that they would drink out of because it had to be quiet, it had to have all these stipulations because we tried fountains before and they just didn't want anything to do with it. So we actually mix water in with their wet food as well to give them some more hydration. So if I was um, needing to amp up how much water my cat drank and I was trying to make some kind of cat wine, I probably would literally use filtered water and maybe a little bit of tuna juice. And that I think would work better. I feel like doing that at home would be easier because you don't have to wait on preservatives and all that kind of stuff that they do have to put in the cat wine to make stuff not mold and mildew because you're making it at your house, you're giving it right to your cat. Um, so you could 100% make your own cat nip wine. It's not, you know, a lot of them are just catnip and water, literally, they bowled it out. So if you're like, I don't know that I wanna spend that much money on it, or I wanna give it a try at the house, get you a little tea diffuser, boil some hot water, put the tea diffuser in that hot water, let the hot water cool down and give it to your cat before you go out and spend that money, especially if it would be a burden. That is my recommendation as a cat mom. The thing that I would say, if you want to get it and you're like, how do I know if my cat's gonna like it? These are some, some telltale signs I would look for because this was literally the big issues that we had. Number one, your cat likes to drink water. Your cat's currently drinking out of your glasses. It wants to drink out of your glasses. It's interested in what you have going on. I think those cats would be more inclined to like catnip wine. But if you have a cat like my cat, which again, a ton of cats fall into that category that you have a hard time with hydration, this is probably gonna be a no-go for them because they just aren't interested in d drinking that, okay? Um, but again, your cats that drink out of cups, all that kind of stuff that are super interested in catnip, that are like really, really out there with it, I think this might be something that you wanna try. Again, if your cats have a hard time drinking water, I would test it out myself at home before I spent the money um, or, if uh, your cats have the whisker thing like mine do that don't like the whiskers touching so they're not drinking out of the glasses and stuff like that. I just don't think you're gonna get what you're going for. So those are my recommendations on who should try the cat wine and who shouldn't. And an easy, simple tip for you guys to do this at home. So again, if you have the money to spend, the bottles are absolutely adorable and you can always refill it with your own homemade concoction um, if that's something you're looking to do. So I hope this video helped you make the decision on whether you want to try to give your cats catnip wine or not. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you got value out of this video, please hit that like button and let me know. And if you wanna share it with somebody else who might have been debating whether they should spend the money on cat wine, make sure you do that. And if you want more content from me, hit that subscribe button so you can get notified every time I release new videos. And until I see you guys over on the next video, remember to keep living your most perfect life.